Hey, my husters, how y'all doing today? Oh, thank you all for, for your support on my channel. Let's say prayers. I'll tell you what we're going to be eating tonight. Lord, 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 there is power in your name. Have your way in our lives. Order our steps in your word. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body and have your way, Lord. Speak through me as I talk today. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, y'all. This is what we eat. It. Well, we got to do our toast. I be, I be so excited, don't I? Okay, y'all. You know, this is my specialty. So, um, the toast today would be Love for each other. All my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, this is for you. Have a great weekend. Salud, salud. Sip, 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 sip the good stuff. Woo! That's good. All right, y'all, we are eating some shrimp and sausage fettuccine. Can y'all see it? It's still hot and smoking, too. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Trying to, oh, just a minute. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat a little. Look, look at that. Take a bite. Take your first bite. Mm -hmm. It's hot. Y'all saw smoke. So how y'all doing today? Whew, I am just so happy. Oh, let me give y'all an update for my friend who I told y'all, Yolanda, uh, with her son who's going through some serious illness. He had surgery today and um yeah he's good he's recovering uh continue to you know pray for her and her family his his wife and his three children so uh yeah i took prayers of a righteous avail as much when two or more uh come together touching and agreeing god says i am in the midst i tell you he's a glory he, Mm. That's all I can say. Lip. Mm. You know what the pastor said? Uh, Sunday, he said, when you, when you, well, it was a visitor. He said, when you lift your hands to God, that they're free to catch whatever blessings he. Woo! Keep your hands up. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Jesus. Are perfectly cooked. Look at that. Y'all see how that smoke? Y'all know I'm that pasta girl. Ooh, do I want my chop? No, I want them damn chopsticks. Well, I do have some uh, some uh, wood sticks. Oh, this is hot. Okay, here goes. Mm, uh, hot, even with my fingers. Uh-uh. I'm going to put that in my mouth. Oh, y'all, um, I posted today, you know, because it's the weekend. I told, uh, I put it on my Facebook that, um, you know, give me a topic. Uh, just to speak about today, and I have a good topic from one of my subscribers. We'll talk about that a little later. Mm. You know, oh, mm. y'all, this is good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is so good. This is really good. That's good. Oh, 
I'm trying to get that right lighting, y'all. Take a bite. Mm -hmm. This is hot. That's good. I was working today and I was just thinking about what can I do differently? And of course, some of my my really good people that I look up with the mukbangs, uh, they, they've been doing some uh, seafood alfredo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had some blue crabs in the freezer, but I didn't want the blue crabs in here. Mm -mm. And I don't have any of the snow crabs that I eat. They're too expensive right now. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. The sausage is cracked black pepper. I'll put it here. Oh. My God, this is just so good. Now I didn't, I didn't do my own uh, <laughs> Alfredo sauce either, y'all. This classical garlic and herbs. That's good. Woo. I think I can eat noodles before rice. And a potato thing, in my, in my boils, I do put potatoes because, you know, you have to have them. Well, not all the time. I'm just not that potato girl. Give me, give me pasta, rice, and then potatoes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is good. Mm. That's delicious. Take a sip. It's good. Want another one? Take one more. Mm hmm. Very good. I'm so good. You know, when you love food, and when you cook it, you cook it with love. You know, even when you um doing a recipe out of a book or from YouTube or wherever. When you are a cook, you um you put other stuff in, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, my mother said something to me two weeks ago. She said, when I cook, I don't ever taste my food. I'm like sometimes you should. <laughs> mm. But uh, I taste everything. I always have my tasting spoons lined up to taste. Because you don't know who's going to come over your house. Well, I hope they call before they come. But still, when you have food on the stove, you, you when they... When they, when they come in and you say, do you want something to eat? And they say, yeah. 
you so proud to put, oh, I, I growled with that, didn't I? You're so glad to put it on their plate because you know it tastes good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not everybody mm, have the same taste buds, of course. Some people, that's that. That's still smoking. Some people gonna like your food. Some people ain't gonna like your food. Just like a restaurant. Some people gonna like it. And some people not. And it's okay. Take a bite. I'm not stingy. I am not stingy at all. Come on, sit with me and eat with me so we can chit chat and laugh and sip a drink. Ooh, that's what it's about. My topic today is kind of inclusive with what I said on the last uh, two, well, the one before the last with families. They, they said they want me to talk about estranged relationships from your parents. Mm. Well, it's amazing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Isn't it amazing that this topic is so irrelevant? I mean, not irrelevant, relevant to what I've been talking about with, 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 with dying and living. And I do have some knowledge with estranged from your parents. You know, God just, he always give you what you need to say. <laughs> you know, and you can't teach if you haven't went through it. You just can't. Mm-hmm. And I have. As y'all remember, with my life, my story, life goes on. In the beginning, it's where I told you the downfall with me and my parents. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't all. It, it went through throughout my life, even with my children. So, I think I've eaten enough. Time to chip and sip and eat. Chip, sip, and eat. Let's do it. Okay, estranged relationships from your parents. I can only tell my life story because I don't know everybody's story. Estranged. What's the definition for estranged? Y'all know that? Okay. Well, I never stopped loving my mother for what she did to me. I just distanced myself. From her abuse and my dad. Uh, Let me just give you an idea of what I'm talking about and, you know, going, you know, in my life in and out. I have three children, as y'all know, grown and gone. Ah, loop. But when they were small, my mother was, she worked in a lot of, um, like JC Penney's and probably Royal, those kind of stores, right? So she had really good discounts too, right? So, mm. she used to buy stuff for my children. Um, a lot of her, well, she got nine. She got a lot. She got a lot of grandchildren. She used to buy stuff on discount. It probably cost her three or four dollars. If she felt that me or some of my family members didn't do or say 
what she wanted us to do or say, she would call us and say, well, I'm going to take all that stuff back I bought for your child. What? You don't do what? Well, you didn't this, 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 and this. So I'm taking, I'm take, I'm taking the stuff back. Y'all. You talk about a strange, I defended my children because they innocent. They, are, they didn't even know what you're about. And because you're mad because I didn't do what you wanted me to do, you've taken they stuff back. What did they do to you? I distanced myself. I stopped calling. Mm-hmm. Cut off all communication for months. <laughs> That's strange. Even some of my family members did the same. You can't do that. She'll take it back. So over time, you know, I always try to think about my mama's feelings, even when she hurt mine all the time. One day I was so sick of it. My children had not done anything to you. So I told her one day, she said at one time too dog on many. You know how you say you cry wolf one time too many? I told them to ever buy them nothing else again, ever, as long as they live. Don't ever buy my children anything going forward. Because it just don't. Sit well when you're honoring. When you're just downright mean. When estranged. When she put me out at 13. I did not see my mother for months and months. But she didn't want to see me. Estranged. You don't know what to feel. You don't know what to think. Because, you know, for me, my mother mm, act like she really didn't like me. My daddy Rest his soul. Told me he loved me because I came out his color. All the other children were high yellow like mother, you know, because she mixed. When you have a father that tells you he loves you only because you came out his color, what do you do? How you feel? I can't say what did you say because when I heard those words, I didn't know what to say, so I didn't say anything. My heart felt everything. So I distanced myself. You know, if I can honestly say, I never in my young days with my mother and my father knew I understand what love is. There was so much 
disdain and harmful words and hurtful words. And I never knew what love was. I never I didn't know I didn't know how love felt because all the time he was mistreated. So for years. I extracted myself from my both my parents. And how many others do that today or have in the past? You know, maybe uh, a mother or father got on drugs and, and, you know, and the grandparents had to, or the aunties or somebody had to take care of you. And you had that pinned up disappointment or even pent up anger because all you wanted was your mama or your daddy or both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for me, the hardest thing was when I was, when I had other friends who had families and I used to spend time with them. My heart bled pain. Because all I ever wanted was the love of a parent. I ain't have it. It's strange. And not only did I distance myself from my parents, my parents distanced themselves from me as well. It was, it was, it was all of us, all of us, everybody, everybody. <laughs> you know, for me, I only allow one day to pass when I don't hear from my doggone children. I'm a call. I'm a text. Nine times out of ten, they answer their phone, though. Not that I was the best parent for those hood boys of mine, but I was the best parent that I knew how to be, and I gave them love because that's all I wanted. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm getting full. So, if I have to say this before I, I, I shut down my, my, this, this segment. I want to say it again. Love and forgiveness is key. It's so easy to bottle up yourself from disappointment and pain. Forgive. You know, because today, when I read my Bible all those times, I'm going to say that loudly. When I read my Bible all those times and it, and it kept coming to me, you have to love thy mother and thy father that they might, that they days might be long on the land. A lot of people leave it right there, but the other scripture behind it that says mother and fathers do, do not do what to your children? Mm-hmm. So it took me a long time. I guess I can say I always had that base love because you have to love your mama and your daddy regardless. Even though you really didn't. But they was always in the back of your mind because they are your mother and your father. You know, talking about this saddens me still, so I must not be over it because
if you ask me today, um, do I have that daughter's love for a mother? I have love for my mother. Don't get me wrong. I have forgiven my mother as well. But gosh, sometimes, y'all. Yeah. I'm in my 50s. I'll say that a thousand times because I'm not as... Well, I ain't going to tell y'all my exact age. <laughs> I missed that kind of love growing up. I never had it. You know, I lived from pillar to post for a majority of my childhood. I think sometimes that's why I feel so young now because I never got to do a child thing. I, I always had to be grown up. I'm going to leave this right there, y'all, because uh, it touches my spirit that uh, I'm sorry. I did not expect this, y'all. I didn't. That any child should not be loved. If you carried your baby for nine months, however long, Thank you, my subscriber, for this topic. <laughs> We're going to have to continue this. Yeah, we do. So I went way over. <laughs> but sometimes, boy, when, you know, when you have a topic as such, it's, it's meant to happen. It's meant to be spoken about. Because it's all around life and death, love and hate, disappointment and pain. So everything you do got to understand that it's always for a reason. This topic came up for a reason. Maybe God said, baby, I know your heart, but you got to talk about this because this still pains you. Mm. Woo! I'm going to stop that right there, y'all. Let me just say this before I log off. Forgive your parents. Nobody had an instruction book. People wrote books. Some people wrote books so we may have a child. So nobody had all the instructions. Let it go. Let it go. Love them while they're alive because one day they are going home. They are. We are. All of us. So with that said, thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for my new hostess. Before you leave today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Ding dong, ding dong. Don't forget to comment, share, and like. Come back again. With that said, thank you for, you know, eating with me and sipping with me and chatting with me. Whew, I love you all and there is nothing you can do about it. So I'm going to say good night to you all. Mwah.